IPX's Elliot here, we're at Sensor and Test 2025. Let's go ahead and talk to a company who's doing something totally new with sensors. It's surface mountable, they're flexible sensors, and they can measure anything, almost anything. Let's go ahead and talk to them. This is Ad Sensors. IPX's, we're here at Sensor and Test 2025, and we've stumbled across a magnificent booth. Aiki here has got a beautiful new sensor. It's something that we haven't seen before. It's an SMD foil sensor that you can stick it. What's the rest of your slogan? Take it, stick it, measure. Take it, stick it, and measure. Let's hear a bit more about what you've got here. Yeah, we developed uh, a new portfolio of different sensors, mainly iron selected sensors. Uh, what is as easy as possible to integrate in your PCB, in your product. And that means uh, we want to bring everybody on the line to integrate like uh, such a pH sensor, a potassium sensor or a sodium sensor in the easiest way. And for us, the easiest way is take the sensor, stick the sensor and begin to measure. Amazing. So if I want to include something like this in my design, how am I taking measurements out of this? We'll get some shots of this later, but really we're just looking at, uh, at what appears to be uh, a piece of flexible plastic, copper running through it and a sensor at the end. How can I begin to actually measure this? I mean, there's no I2C system or any microcontroller on there. How do we, how do we start by measuring this? Yeah, of course, we need, in the end, we need a connection to measurement electronic where we could uh, integrate the different measurement uh, methods. Mm -hmm. So for pH and sodium and potassium, we have a um, um, potential measurement. Mm -hmm. So that means we have two electrodes, a reference electrode and a pH or sodium sensitive electrode. Mm -hmm. And we measure the potential between both electrodes. Uh, if we talk about uh, a temperature, that is a resistance uh, uh, device. Mm -hmm. So we measure the resistance. If we talk about, for example, force, um, we have a, an impedance or a, a capacitive uh, measurement. Mm -hmm. So we are not really into the measurement electronic. We are more focused on the detectors. So we want to bring um, detectors. It's the easiest part on the market. They are um, uh, absolutely available. So everybody should see our sensors and have the opportunity to say, hey, I need 20 pen temperature sensors. I need uh, uh, 12 force sensors. And I want to build together zip and zip uh, sensor system. OK, amazing. So we've mentioned that you've got a couple different sensors. You've got temperature. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you call it? Temperature, moisture. Okay. Moisture, conductivity, pressure, pressure, yeah. So many a lot of a lot of different ions. Yeah. Yes. So what have you got in your hand right now? Right now I have um, one. Um, periphery layout. So that is something everybody of you could design by your own. So that means what we need is we need this area where we could stick the sensor. So you have to design like this pad. You get, of course, a data sheet from us and an instruction. And uh, how does the, the, the all um, periphery looks like? That's on your own. And also what, which kind of material it is. It could be a flex PCB. It could be also a star PCB. That depends on your own. And um, then you need this kind of stickers. So um, what I mean is if you low the uh, Panini football sticker or something, that is ex exactly uh, as easy. So these are the stickers on the uh, adhesive and you take it like this. That is the pH sensor. And you only put it on the open area of your connector. That is so tiny all. too. That's all. Take it, stick it, and then you could measure it. And of course, you need a measurement electronic. And what we have is like a measurement device. It's easy because you press a button, insert the periphery fall, it's fixed then. And now you could put it into coffee, water, urine, blood, whatever you like. And uh, you get the data outside for uh, with a Bluetooth protocol on a, on, a, on a smartphone app. And then you could see what's happened with your pH value over a couple, couple days. Amazing, cool. Okay, so say I want to integrate one of these into my design. How do I start by doing this? This is no usual component. You're not putting this through a reflow oven or anything. How do, how do I get started actually integrating this into a design? I guess you start with a design tool like Alcium or some other uh, um, software. Design your routing, your layout, yes. and uh, bring the uh, the open pad at the position you want to have your sensor, your mm -hmm. pH sensor, or sodium sensor, or temperature sensor placed. And then you yeah go onto a screen printer or I don't know PCB printer and mm -hmm. uh, create your uh, your layout. And then you take our stickers, peel it off from the adhesive, 
and stick it and then you're ready. Mm. So because with our stickers you do the mechanical fixation, the mechanical adhesement mm. and also the electrical connection because we have an um, E-tape, an electric conductive tape integrated so we yeah. don't need a soldering process or a welding process mm -hmm. or a gluing process. It's only take it, stick it and measure. Amazing. Maybe one more question. Why would you want to have an adhesive sensor like that? Why would you choose an adhesive sensor over something that could be pick and placed? Because our vision is that we have uh, a lot of um, possibilities for new sensor devices. Mm -hmm. But sensors could be not as, um, yeah, as, uh, as difficult to integrate as they are currently. Mm -hmm. You need a soldering oven, you need uh, 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 some other connection possibilities. So with this, but if it's possible you that you do it, it on your table, yeah, on your yeah. desk at home, exactly. only take the sensor and stick it and then you could measure it. Mm -hmm. It is the easiest way for us to start to develop new application for sensing and makes the world a little bit better. Okay, also the sensors, accuracy. Let's talk accuracy. Yeah. These, these are not your traditional sensor. Yeah. How accurate are you finding your measurements are coming out of this new technology? Yeah, so uh, to be honest, accuracy is not as high if you use like a wafer-based sensor or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we say we are, we are not focused on measurement, we are focused on monitoring. So that is yes. what we do, because we don't want to do one drop of liquid on the sensor and measure the pH value. Mm -hmm. We want to see what's happened with the, with the pH value over time. So that yeah. is continuous monitoring. Mm -hmm. For continuous mm -hmm. monitoring, not the absolute value is really important. The trend information is important. So what's happened with this pH value is raising up over the last uh, 25 hours from uh, 0 0.5 degrees or something. Mm -hmm. That is what we want to want to see and uh, that is absolutely possible with our stickers. So we do continuous monitoring and not one point measurement. Amazing. Beautiful. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. IP exchanges. That was ad sensors at Sensor and Test 2025.